Hi, I'm Peyton West, uh, assistant winemaker to Isabel Meunier and Lavinia Wines. And I'm here today on behalf of the um, Carlton Winemaker Studio with Jerry Murray, owner and winemaker of Project M. Uh, Jerry has two wines in your upcoming spring shipment. It is the Personify 2018 Pinot Noir and the Chehalem Mountain 2018 Pinot Noir. And the Chehalem Mountain will be in the Pinot Club and the Personify in the Diverse Club. How's it going, Jerry? What are you, uh, are you drinking anything fun in these crazy times? Uh, yeah, the other night we opened uh, a 2012 Farrington Vineyard from, uh, uh, in the Anderson Valley. I used to make wine in the Anderson Valley from William Selium on. Uh, That's awesome. Very yeah. nice. Perfect. Um, yeah, so I love these labels. Can you, and each one's different. So this is the Shahala Mountain, and this is, on your left, is the Personify. So there seems to be like, what, different wind patterns of some kind? What is it? So we, we had these archetypal ideas that we thought Project M was about. The Personify was the original image that came from what she called the Sand Series. What she does is she sets up mathematical probabilities and limits that are then randomly populated with those dots. So one of the archetypal ideas was movement. That was the most important thing. The worst thing anybody could say about a Project M wine is that it's heavy and lethargic on the palate. We right. like wines that move. You want that, yeah, agility, right. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So that was, we wanted to depict that on all the labels. Let's go ahead and start with Personify. So 2018 is interesting. I hadn't tasted these since we bottled them. Um, and, uh, well, I take that back. I tasted them in February before I released the Personify to my wine club. Uh, yep. My wine club will get the Shehala Mountain in May. Don't tell them you got it first. Um, and uh, when I tasted them, I was struck uh, because they behaved, 2018 in the fermenter, I think, behave like a cool vintage. But when we get them into the glass, they behave like a much warmer vintage. Not that they're high alcohol. I mean, these are both under 14%. There's just right. a tremendous density. And I think it was one, uh, the way the vintage developed tannin. And right. then through the way we manage the tannins. I think you have the sweet spot there with the oak currently. I, I, I think it's a very, very balanced wine. Very, very much so. And room for improvement would be just exceeding, exceeding what you've already done. So, so for the Shehala Mountain Vineyard, this is probably one of my favorite ABAs to work with, Shehala Mountain ABA. Um, and I think that you get, this is a great representation of Shehala Mountain ABA because to me, it's got that blue fruit along with the violet floral characteristics and then kind of a dusting of like a little bit of earthy soil minerality to it, which I find to be Shehalem. Is that a, what do you think about Shehalem ABA in general? I just recently, this working with this vineyard is my first experience with Shehalem Mountain. What it represents in the portfolio is the sort of the generosity, you know, yeah. the density. Um, and then the other ABAs we work with have different, completely different virtues and attributes that we're trying to bring into the program. So this right. is uh, what it was supposed to be. It was, it's our, our sort of our richest wine, our roundest wine. Um, yeah. And, um, and we've, yeah. we've, we feel we're successful with it. I'm glad that you agree that it's, it's yeah. shows but, I hope to see you at the studio 10 feet away, I guess, yeah, someday. So. Uh, it looks like we're not going to see each other for a long time, but it's nice to talk to you and try the wines. They're, they're delicious. Thank you for sharing them with me. And I hope to see you soon, my friend. Absolutely. And if any of the wine club members out there have any questions, uh, feel free to email me, jerry.murray at Project M Wines. Thanks right on. All right. See you, Jerry. Have a good one. Cool.